Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. Today let's look at scope of variables at ClickView. Like any other programming language, ClickView also contains variables. However, in ClickView, variables behave based on how we assign them. In ClickView, there is no concept of local and global variables compared to other programming languages. However, while assigning or creating a variable, the syntax or the definition of the variable controls the behavior. As you know, in ClickView, we can store the expression as variable to reuse the same expression object within the same ClickView application. Let's look at a simple ClickView application and understand the differences between the two variable types. So let me show you the script. I'm connecting through OLEDB and fetching a table from SQL Server and calling it as customers, okay? And I will reload this table. So let's wait for it. Probably it should be done in 10 or 15 seconds. Okay, there we go. So we have 18,869 records, perfect. And let's look at the table viewer. Yes, we have the customer table and we have some information about the customers here. And we also have the customer key. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create two expressions and I'll create these expressions as variables. So control alt V is the shortcut for variable overview window. And then I'm adding two variables. The first variable, let's count the number of customers within any particular dimension. So let's call this V customer count. Okay, and click on this. And then now let's say count. You still have the IntelliSense here. And then customer key. Assuming that that's the primary key. And uh, let's click on add and say, now create the second variable, v customer total count, okay? I'll copy that same first expression and paste it in the second one. However, please notice that I've, I'm adding a prefix as an equal to sign, okay? So we will see the difference in a short while from now. Okay, now the first variable has count of customer key. The second variable has the same expression, but with an equal to sign at the beginning. Now let's click on OK. And let's go back to variable overview window to see if we have both the variables, just to double check. Okay, that's good. And now let's create a simple object. Uh, let's probably create a simple straight table. So I'll create chart and select straight table. If you don't select uh, default will be the bar chart and then let's select the dimension as uh, what will be interesting here uh, occupation yeah so we wanted to see how many customers fall under different occupations so click on next and now uh, let's use the variable so v customer count although remember you have to use dollar sign expansion okay I'll create the dollar sign expansion and uh, click on add again now let's say we customer total count dollar sign expansion again i'll name these variables as customer count total customers and click on finish. Now, if you see a left-hand side column, we have occupation as our dimension and we have two expressions. One is customer count and then the total customers. So the customer count is actually counting and splitting the data based on the dimension value. However, if you see total customers, it's just counting everything. So the difference between the two variables, the first variable is only expanded while we are using in a specific object because it does not contain the equal to sign. However, the second variable has an equal to sign and this is expanded and evaluated and calculated immediately even before we use them in any object. So let's click on OK 
and just so that you fully understand i'll create two text boxes and i'll call one of them as v customer count and you should see the definition of the expression which is great and i'll create the second list i'll create the second text box sorry and uh, i'll call this v customer total count and here you will see the number 